Welcome back to Unfold Data Science friends. This is Aman here and I am a data scientist. In this video, I am going to talk to you about what is the future of data science as we stand in 2019 today. Watch the video till the end if you want to understand why data science is coined as sexiest job of 21st century. Talking of data science, let's try to understand what has changed in the world of data in last few years. So if I go 10 years back in 2009, this was me in 2009 and this was my phone in 2009. So how much of data I would be able to generate in a day using this phone? Maybe few SMSs, few calls and few low resolution pictures, right? But today as we stand in 2019, all of us including you and me is generating huge amount of data every single day, right? So every time you order food on Zomato, you are generating data. You book a Uber cab, you generate data. You write a comment in Facebook, you generate data. Also, what has changed in DK.2 is the percentage of global population having internet access has increased. So if we go just 10 years back, there were only 25% of the global population having access to internet. But as we stand today in 2019, 60% of the global population has access to internet. So people are having access to internet and they are on mobile devices. The meaning of that is more data, right? So just to give you an example or glimpse of how much of data we are generating every minute in 2019. Just have a look at the image coming on the screen which tells you that every minute in 2019, four and a half million of YouTube videos are watched and similarly, you can see the volume of data getting generated on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and other places, right? Another interesting fact about the speed of data generation is out of all the data present in the universe today, 90% of the data was generated in last two years alone, which means if there is 100 units of data in the world today, then 90 units were generated between 2017 to 2019. That's surprising, right? So no wonder the estimated volume of the data existing in the world in 2025 is 175 zettabytes. That's huge. To keep it short and simple, huge amount of data is getting generated at a very high speed. But there is something else which has changed from the evolution of computers. What is that? That is storage of the data is becoming cheaper day by day. So what you see on the screen right now is a 5 MB storage device created by IBM way back in 1956. The cost of this device at that time was whooping 50,000 US dollars. But now you and me carry 128 GB or 256 GB in our cell phones, right? Which means that the cost of storing of data has come down significantly. As you see a chart on the screen, it tells you that it has come down from the initial years a million dollars to few cents in recent years. So combining these two things together, what we can conclude that more data is getting generated and the cost of storing the data is becoming cheaper. So if I run a business, I can store more data at a low cost. What would I want to do? I would want to use the data in a proper way which can be beneficial for my business, right? So who are the people who will help me in doing so? Data scientists, data engineer, data analyst. So these are the different job roles in the market right there which help people, which help businesses in organizing, managing and deriving knowledge and insights from their data. There are very thin lines of differences between the job roles of data engineer, data scientist and data analyst, which I'll cover in my next video. For now, if we focus only on data science, then there is a close to 350% spike in the demand of data scientist as reported by indeed.com since 2013. In the last year alone, there is 58% spike in the demand of data scientist as reported by Indeed. So as we stand today, right now the US market alone has 150k shortage of data scientist and the European market is supposed to have a shortage of 346k data scientist by 2020. That's very huge number. Talking about compensation offered to the data scientists, various websites like LinkedIn, Indeed and other job portals have reported that median salary of data scientist is 30 to 40% higher than their peers with a different skill set. 
so having seen all the charts having seen all these numbers do i need to make a comment on how the future of data science is looking like so please let me know in comment section what do you think is the future of data science as we stand on 2019 please press the like button if you like the video and share with your friends who would be interested in knowing more about data science and machine learning subscribe to the channel if you have not done yet thanks for watching take care